Hello and welcome to Watchdog Wargaming. Tonight I shall be re reviewing uh, Rapid Fire Fast Play Rules for World War II by Colin Rumford and Richard Marsh. Um, these particular rules, this is what started me off in wargaming way back in 1994, 1995, when these first rule set came out. Um, yeah, it was it was a bit of a bit of a sort of eye opener for me because it was um, there was the the was it Warhammer Rogue Trader was out and uh, and so and this came out so sort of, um, I got introduced to this at the same time and this is sort of uh, that light bulb moment when I started looking to World War Two um, um, war gaming. So. Um, yeah, so it's, I was amazed by, the, as it says, eight pages of colour photographs full of uh, lots of uh, World War Two eye candy and some amazingly painted uh, vehicles and figures and a base stones and sort of lots of uh, dioramas and uh, everything else that goes with it. Uh, again, this, this particular rule set have included a lot of um, scenarios as well. And it was, it was based on sort of... Um, it's it's based based on some of the, the the actual sort of um, play to it. it hasn't much changed change much so you have your morale tests your observation tests your uh, smoke heroic action uh, your movement uh, and then your firing um, and the fire firing is 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 based on whether it's long range in the hard cover or a short range in the soft cover as it goes off uh, off for a chart so you roll on the amount of um, the, the dice or the figures that you have um, and they correspond to a particular number and you've got to get either you know sort of um, higher than that particular, particular number to actually cause a casualty um, you've got your machine guns um, again all different ranges on that um, indirect fire mortars uh, and anti-tanks and also sort of like the AFVs so sort of the AFVs sort of again uh, so your, t your your tiger's got a ha have higher characteristics, and uh, when you were ro when you're rolling, you'll be rolling against your uh, anti-tank guns value a against that um, the armor value. Um, it's a very very fast game, and it's based on a you go I go scheme uh, with a uh, with some interruptions. Um, it has sort of changed um, over the years uh, into uh, different formats, and uh, what we'll uh, so I'll go into now. So it's um, this, like I said, this was the original one that came out, and then so sort of, uh, later on it got replaced by uh, um, this one, again sort of um, an update on the uh, update on the rules and a, a sort of a lot more sort of um, information in here, again some amazing color work, uh, color pages, brilliantly painted figures, and lots and lots of body candies. So. Um, yeah, so if you if you were looking for an incentive to get into World War Two gaming, so if, um, this was uh, so the the start of it for, for many people. Again, this is a, this is the sort of um, format so that um, all their books into uh, newish books are pres presented in. So you have a, have a a picture of a breakdown of what um, was it actually in a um, in a unit or a regiment. So this one here is the regimental combat team. Uh, uh, American Regimental Combat Team, June 1944. So in there you've got uh, six figures, um, half ton uh, radio truck, um, short howitzer and anti-tank team. Um, so you have, and basically an infantry battalion would be of like 48 figures. Let's see if I can actually get this uh, to um, zoom in. And there we are. So that's the sort of... Uh, diagrams and explanations that you have in here as well um, if you haven't if you haven't seen these uh, this book or read for uh, read through this book you know where have you been you've been living under a rock but it's it's actually quite a very very in-depth uh, rule set um, it's kept me entertained for uh, many a year and um, recently they've um, they've brought out um, a new set or an updated version of this but I still think um, sort of jury's out at the moment because I, um, I've only played the newer set a few times and still sort of getting to um, so getting to know it I should say 
where it was a case of I still sort of have a leanings to this, but the uh, the the so they've just recently brought this one out. So this is the rapid fire reloaded fast play war gaming rules for World War Two land battles by Colin Rumford and Richard Marshall. So it's the original sort of um, people who brought it out. Um, in this format, I think it cost me sort of like five pounds from um, from one of the, sort of the uh, book companies. Uh, in fact, actually, I got this from their website, and it was it's, it's well worth it. Um, again, so sort of, um, let me just quickly go through this for you as well because it, it's it'll, it'll go into a lot of uh, a lot of information. So again, good. It's a small um, it's A5. So a quick explanation: what's actually in here, um, how to assemble a force is your um, so the, um, the points guide. Uh, it gives you an example of a of, of a British force. Let me see if I can get that into focus. Yeah, so that's um, and this is actually a scenario that they're giving you as an example. So this is uh, uh, based on a. a um, the 15th Scottish Infantry Division in mid June 1944, um, and this is a, it's a, um, a, a battle um, of the village of Muin on June 28th. So they actually go into the actual. So you've got the uh, A Squadron of the uh, Third Country of London Yeomanry. So they break down on two Shermans and a Firefly. Then you've got a Stuart um, reconnaissance vehicle, and then you've got the uh, RT battery. Now. With these, um, you can use um, per minor predominantly 172nd 20 mil figures, uh, from, uh, and so you can use 15 mil. You can even go up to 28 mil. I've actually seen games in 28 mil, and they're, they're quite so sort of, uh, all impressive. One thing on these ones is that uh, you can get some big, big, big games on these using the, uh, these rules. And this is the German uh, German uh, set. So it's the same same points. So this is it gives you an example of their um, of first battalion. It's a Panzer Grenadier regiment. It's a Lieben Standard. So it's um, this is the opposition for them their Muin uh, scenario. And like I said earlier on, you have um, all their vehicles are given sort of um, uh, the sort of different stats. So you'd have uh, what their uh, their armor is, what the gun type is. I'm still getting to sort of read up on these ones. I haven't haven't played, had a good game of uh, rapid fire for eight, for some time, so it's uh, we're, we're getting there. Uh, moving troops firing at the enemy, direct fire, got smokes, uh, smoke shells, close assault. There and then so the, for the for the for the map for the scenario. There's a few sort of um, bits and bobs in there that they don't mention about um, aircraft and everything else. So if, they, if that's probably uh, that'll be in the um, that's in the first book. But um, this is this it seems to play a lot faster. But the, the other book has a lot more detail in it. Now the good thing about the, um, the rapid fire rules is that um, again you can argue they're not historically. Um, sort of accurate, but it's I, I th 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 they are if you look at the uh, at sort of the, the scenarios. You know, this is this is a game at the end of the day. It's not real life, um, and it's you know it's I um, I sort of I, I like these rules. Fast and Furious, something that you can play in in, in sort of um, in, an, in um, at a club in in the evening or on the weekends. And also, like I said, they have a lot of um, come additional scenario books as well. So over the years, I've collected. We've got the six of uh, six of Doom, uh, DJ D Day. Again, all these are still available um, out there from there. So and has the breakdown of the units and gives you all the scenarios for the uh, on the beach landings. Lots of lovely eye candy again on that. So that that's the uh, the D Day one. And uh, recently, um, they, they brought out some new ones as well. So again, this is Normandy scenarios for the inland bet, um, battles. They've also brought out an, a Normandy battle groups, evenly matched forces for gaming battles of June 1944. And again, it's all broken down into these lovely uh, pictures, uh, which you can relate to. 
So this one's the uh, third Canadian infantry div. Is that like what you get for 400 points? You can see what I mean. It's, it's lovely graphics in there. Now, also as well, uh, these are some of the older ones, but this is the sort of like their first supplements of unit organization for 44, 45. So it's, it's an older style of uh, of writing and not so many pictures, but it's it's still sort of uh, still got the lots of information in there. Um, again, more the scenarios for Northwest Europe, 1944-45. So uh, lots of river crossings and everything else in it. So um, so some for you Russian players out there as well. So organisation for Russian front. So you've got uh, all the breakdown of all the weapons or the unit breakdown. I think some pictures in here. Oh, I could. No, this one's just the old book. Oh, there we are. So uh, lovely Eastern Front goodness. At least no snow. Oh, there we are. There's the snow. Okay, they also bought out um, so sort of the Battle of the Bulge as well. So it, again, that's um, that's a, a quite recent one. Uh, it gives you scenarios for the Battle of the Bulge for you to play as well. Um, I'm not sure if this was actually a a, a proper sort of uh, brought out official thing, but uh, there was also a rapid fire uh, Korean War supplement um, I picked up at a, at a show. Um, again, so sort of, um, I am interested in the Korea War, so this was actually quite an interesting one, and it's it's you know it's it's bringing the world uh, the rapid fire rules into um, a more post World War Two early Cold War uh, scenarios, which is quite good, and um, and again I'm also sort of uh, through a couple of um, the Red Storm Rising uh, uh, wargaming group um, on Facebook. There's also a couple of uh, um, sort of unofficial do you have it, um, adaptations of it. So you've got the rapid fire able archer rules 83, 84, and again these are these are quite good based on sort of the original um, rapid fire. So it's um, yeah. So if you are interested in World War Two, looking for a fast play rule set. Um, so, to, so you can use your either your current, your, either your 15 mil, your 20 mil, or whatever. Then you, you can't go wrong with these rules. Okay, it, it's um, you know. So I played for these for a long time, and I, I like them. You know, and it's there is a little bit of uh, uh, some personal taste on there is they're not everybody's cup of tea yeah I admit that but it was a case of I, I like these and there was a, a large amount of people out there from certainly from on the Facebook groups and everything else that uh, do uh, like these um, these particular set of rules so um, yeah Colin Rumford and Richard Marsh keep up the good work as I said there's um, we've got a lot of followers and this is a great rule set so uh, thumbs up for me and uh, thank you much for your time, much appreciated. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe below, much appreciated. And I will catch you again. All the best. Bye now.